Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your new iPhone SE 2022 third generation. Let's get started. All right, so straight out of the box, the iPhone should have some power. If you want to turn it on, just press and hold on that side button right there. It should turn on and bring you to a page similar to this one where it's going to say press the home button. So we'll just give that a quick press here and it'll take you to your next page. Now I'm gonna go through everything that we do here in the setup, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And as always, if you're looking for more great iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, there's a full playlist in the video description. All right, so we're gonna choose our language here, which for us it's English, and then your country, which again, it usually picks it up pretty well. I'm in Canada. And then we can choose a quick start, which is set it up manually, or if you have another iPhone or iPad, you can use that as well, which we'll go through in the next option. So we'll tap set up manually. We'll choose our Wi-Fi network. It'll prompt us to enter in our password. Once it's connected, tap next. Now it does say it may take a few minutes, but it usually just takes about a minute and there we go. Now this is the data and privacy section here. We'll tap continue. It'll prompt you to enter in touch ID. So if you want to set up touch ID, you can do it right here. We'll set it up. We'll tap continue and touch ID is going to allow you to use it to pay for things in the app store as well as unlock your phone. So you can choose any finger you want and it's telling us to lift and rest your finger on the home button repeatedly. And that's all we're gonna do. Let it pick up all the areas of your finger. And there you go. Now we're gonna adjust our grip. So we're gonna kind of move it around like this. So if it's on the edges, the top edge, the side edge, bottom edge, you just wanna kind of move your finger around just so it grasps everything and then tap continue. Now it's gonna prompt you to enter in a passcode. Now by default, you can use the six digit passcode right there, but there are passcode options. You can use the custom alphanumeric code, which is very strong, allows you to use the full keyboard to create a password. You can also choose the weaker four digit numeric code here, which is just a four digit passcode. So just choose the one you feel most comfortable with. I'm just going to use the standard six digit for this one, and we'll just pick something easy for me here. Try to pick something stronger. If you don't, it'll prompt you like this. I would strongly recommend if you get this notification, just use a stronger passcode. We're gonna use it anyway, just for this example. It's just easier for me to unlock it right now. Now at this point, you can restore this iPhone from a previous iPhone, an iCloud backup, a Mac or PC, or anything like that. If you would like to go through another option, like restoring it from iCloud, there is a card right above, click on that, or the link in the description will take you to that video that'll show you how to set it up from an iCloud backup. For this tutorial, we're going through it manually. So we're gonna say don't transfer apps and data. And at this point here, if you have an Apple ID, enter it in. If you don't, or you don't wanna enter it in, you can say forgot or don't have an Apple ID, and it'll allow you to you know, bypass that or create it or go through the forgot password and Apple ID section so you can remember what it is. For us, I'm just gonna set it up later in settings, choose what's best for you. It'll bring you to pretty much the same next page. So we'll just give it a few seconds here. Now the terms and conditions, go through them and tap agree when you're ready. Keep your iPhone up to date, we'll tap continue. iMessage and FaceTime, it's just giving you a rundown of how it's going to work. You can choose to send the phone number to Apple to set up iMessage and FaceTime on this phone. You can tap continue to do so or not now, but what you do need to have your Apple ID signed in for that, so I'll just hit not now. Location services, you can enable them here or disable them here. You can always modify all of these settings in the settings application after. So depending on what you would like, I'm just gonna disable it for now. And you can see if you do choose to disable that maps and other applications won't be able to use your location. So it makes them a little bit harder to use in terms of uh, navigation and things like that. But you can always change it, as I said, in the settings. Now Siri is here. We can set that up right here. We'll tap continue. And you can see that we have a few voices that we can choose. Settings. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in settings. So you can go through all of those voices, choose the one you want, or just have it choose for you right Hi, here. I'm Siri. 
Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in settings. This page here, it's up to you if you want to share your audio recordings with Apple so that can help improve Siri and dictation. I don't do this. This is screen time. I have a complete video on how screen time works and how it can help you if you use your phone too much or you can track how your phone is being used. It's a pretty important feature. That way you know that if you're using YouTube a lot and it's taking up hours of your day, this is a great way to sort of set boundaries and things like that. So you can set it up here by tapping continue. There's a link to the video in the description as well. We'll set that up later in settings because it is pretty long. Now this is where iPhone analytics are tracked. You can choose to share them as you use your phone with Apple or don't share. Again, I don't like to share my information regardless of them saying they don't share it with anybody else. It's just my personal preference. This is the appearance. You've got your light mode and dark mode. I like both. I'm more on the light mode right now, so I'll choose that. And then you have display zoom. So this is going to be a personal preference as well. If you use the zoomed display, you'll be able to see everything a little bit more zoomed. And you can see the examples here. So when you're in messages, the boxes are gonna be a little bit bigger in Zoom. You have your apps a little bit bigger in Zoom. So choose what's best for you. I'm gonna leave it on standard for now. And that is it. Welcome to our iPhone, tap to get started. And our iPhone is now set up and we can start using it any way we want. If you guys found this video helpful or enjoyable, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post those new videos. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to help you out. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.